pounds. They're talking yeah. ounces. Yeah. Ounces. Yes. We were about 15 seconds away from Andrew taking the first take. Oh, here, here he goes. goes. Here goes the Andrew power. Patrick in the Flaps bubble bees pulling. Oh, my goodness. That looked like a sub-100. That was, a, that was an 80-foot takeoff. <laughs> that was an 80-foot takeoff in a 182. That is outstanding. Keeping there the you go. Heavy on the braking. Heavy Slide on the braking. those rear wheels. Almost a 110. Almost one. One of the nicest things of being a pilot is the people you meet. This time I met with Andrew Patsy, who is the 2021 heavy touring category stall champion. We met at Harvey Field in Washington and flew to Skykomish State Airport. The initial plan was to fly to some gravel bars near concrete, but it has been raining so much that the rivers are too high, so there is actually nothing where we can land. So we took some air-to-air -air videos and then headed to Skykomish. The 182 is faster than the 170, so Andrew had to reduce speed. Skykomish is in a valley, it's long and it's wide, but when it's windy it can get challenging. I was leading the flight, so I landed first. We landed to the west. a little bit of wind. The trees sometimes make some turbulence, but it wasn't that bad. Now it's Andrew's turn to land. He says no energy to. So let's go meet Andrew and his Cessna 182. So here we are in beautiful Skycomish, Washington to see Andrew Patry's airplane. Andrew Patry has been the stall champion from 2021, right? Correct. Okay. So how long ago have you had this airplane? Uh, this July, it'll be two years. Okay. Uh, I've done some modifications to it. It came really well equipped. Uh, I had a Horton on it. Yeah. Uh, I removed that and put a sportsman on it. I did the same in my 182. I did the VGs, micro air VGs. I had them yeah. uh, on the Horton and I liked them. Yeah. So they went back on. Um, I've done the titanium gear legs. Yeah, those are the, the landing gear works. They're really nice. Yeah, it, it changes the way it lands. It doesn't bounce back in the air like the steel ones would do. Okay, so more absorption and it's lighter. It is lighter, about 30 pounds lighter Yeah. with the titanium axles. Okay, so you have a lightweight seat. I've got the sport aircraft seats. Yeah. I got the vinyl oh, SCS uh, interior floor. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of heavy on radios, but I did do the AV30s. I like them. Yeah, I did one just now and I really like it. Yeah, very light, very affordable way to get rid of the vacuum system. Yeah. I left the ADF. Um, it's uh, It's been a great plane. Um, what year? 1959. 1959. Okay, so what's the empty weight? Empty weight is 1639 with the seats in. Very nice. So, and the newest addition has been the MT reversible prop. Okay, I want to see it in action later on. We okay, we it. we'll do yeah. that. It's uh, I got the nickel leading edge, like the non-reversible, really tough. Yeah, really light. So this is the 83 inch. 83 inch. Yeah, uh, that takes a special governor which actuates the reverse. It's a counterweight prop. Yeah. Um, it's four pounds heavier than the one that I had before. That's not too bad. It's four, not bad. Four. It is out front. Yeah. Uh, so do you you do you put some ballast? 
I do. I have 13 pounds of ballast in the tail cone. You okay. And I'd like to get to the point where I can remove it. Uh, but it's not quite there yet. Okay. I've so 0470 stock engine. Stock engine. So what made you pick a 182 and do this kind of flying? <laughs> well, uh, I had a Mooney. I bought a Mooney, uh, 2009 area, and uh, I got I stumbled across your videos. Okay. Before you painted your plane and enjoyed it, and uh, I was looking for kind of a backcountry airplane a couple years ago, and I really liked the Mall M7, and I liked the Cessna 180, and you price the insurance. The 182 is almost as good. Yeah. For half the cost and a quarter of the insurance. So. Yes. 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 Oh, you also have the skip plate. I have that one too. That, that's pretty new. Um, there's a technique for competition. Yeah. It's pretty hard on the tail. Yeah. So this middle fork tail skid goes from uh, this bulkhead to this bulkhead. Yeah. With the tail cone axis and the jack screw axis, the, the plate there, it's really easy to install. Yeah. So the, the book says, I think, five to six hours hour and a half is plenty yeah and if you do them every day yeah you could even be a little quicker than that but uh really strong um for stole competitions i use a little bit of trim back yeah for rotation it gives the tail a little more authority yeah and i do hit the tail cone um doing that so yeah. i wanted this high angle of attack high angle of attack yeah and that's where the cesta 182 will do a little better in competition yeah. than the 180 because we can get an angle of attack on yeah. the ground that the yeah. 180 can't get. Yeah. Um, but they got the braking benefit on landing, so they get yeah. it all back there. Yeah. So this is the the trim is different than you don't have a trim tab, right? It's no trim tab. The whole the whole horizontal, horizontal moves yeah. up and down. It's a really efficient way for trim. Yeah. Um, a little maintenance in the jack screws, but this has been a, a loved airplane before me it's the original paint i kind of i'm growing to like the original paint all right it's got that rat rod look to it you have the you have yonix uh, adsb on the tail, tail i've got the bgs on the tail yeah yeah and they're underneath on, on the horizontal underneath. and it sits a lot higher than my 182. it's got the uh, so the 61 I it's, it got the spring gear. The spring gear, and they squatted it out a little more. Yeah. It's supposed to make it a little better handling, easier to get in and out. Okay. Here. And, and you have the air glass fork. Well, this is the 310 fork. Oh, the 310, okay. And it's got the 706 tire. Yeah. Uh, got a prototype in the works for something a little different. Yeah, and that would be amazing. I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> we cannot say it right now, but yeah, it's, it's going uh, to be amazing. Pending STC, they're building the prototype for this plane. So yeah, that's very good. Should save about 20 some pounds off the nose versus the air glass and uh, will help the CG a little better. Yeah. I don't like to run a real, real far CG. 35 ish empty is pretty good. I think the, the back of it's 42. Yeah. Some guys take it to a, an extreme. So, right now, where is that CG? CG middle, is, in the middle or? Yeah, I'm 34 and a half. I'm about in the middle. You're about in the middle. Yeah. yeah. A little more forward. Okay. Do you use full off trim when landing? Yes, always. It doesn't want to land, especially with the fourth notch of yeah. flaps. Yeah. You really got to click it all the way to the back. Yeah. And, uh, I do the same. It, you know, if I could get a little more pitch control, which would mean lightening up or moving the CG rear, I could even fly slower. Yes. Uh, the plane will fly slower. I just can't get the pitch out of it at that slow speed. Yeah. I put a helicopter airspeed indicator in it for stall competitions okay. as a secondary, and uh, I rotate on the two on twenty. Wow! So and it will fly. Uh, uh, what's your approach speed like then when there is no wind? No wind, about forty to forty-five miles an hour. Miles an hour on temperature. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 40, Forty-five is a pretty good speed. Okay. You get a gust, you know. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. With four notches. And, okay. It's gonna be just fine. 40, if, if it's a nice calm day or steady wind, you can go down to 40 in it, but then you really lose a lot of elevator. Yeah. It's hard to get the flare out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Love the airplane. I've got seven airplanes. This is my favorite to fly. Good. So we're going to do some gravel bars next, huh? Let's do it. Let's yeah. Do it.
Now the water is very high, but if not today, another time. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Larry. Here we can see the reversible anti propeller in action. So it doesn't not only help for taxing, but for landing short, and it would be a great way to stop the airplane. Also, on airplanes on floats is great for docking. I flew a Cessna 185 with, on float with this propeller and docking was really easy. Next we flew to a small grass strip in Duval just for fun. It was a nice day to fly and it was great meeting Andrew and we will do some more flying, some more back on the flying, grass trips and especially we are looking forward to do some gravel bars and do some videos together. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to support Backcountry 182 please join me on Patreon. See you next time. It is very easy to join to be a patron of Backcountry 182. Go to the YouTube channel on the right hand side there is the link and then it takes you to the Patreon page here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel also another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel there is a link for Patreon, so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching, it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support.